J drone here. What's going on, guys? We got the shift drone that is very boxy. I actually like the fact that it's boxy. Um, definitely a little bit different look than a normal drone the size that would be extremely aerodynamic. This ain't it. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can't give this a flyby. That controller and our little thumb pad here. I will tell you, if you have large thumbs, this isn't going to fit on your thumb well. It fit on my left hand okay, my right hand's a little bit larger, and it would not fit on there well at all, so we will be using our left hand. My dominant hand's my right hand, but that is not feasible to use. Let's go ahead and turn the drone on, I think, by doing this. Long hold this. Maybe. Okay, I think it's on. Let's see. I have a bright light in there. I can't, there. So the front just lit. I wanna go ahead and show you that. On reviews, I've heard that this made sounds to light up. When it lit up, mine didn't make any type of sound. So uh, I don't know if they changed that throughout the years. But we're gonna go ahead and set this down. We are going to go ahead and turn this on. Fly that button. That, however, did make noise and light up. And I can't see if it's lit up or anything. But it says it's lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and clear that little speck of dust off there. And now I have condensation on there. So we're going to go ahead and get that off there. So look at the drone on the ground. And uh, so to make this thing go up, supposedly you just tap it with this. Uh, with this. I don't know what we're doing wrong here. Let's see. That does not seem to be lit, the display there. Okay, so long hold it till it goes dun 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 duh. And bam, now it finally went. It went dun dun dun, and uh, though that's spun. So let's go ahead and try to take off like I was saying before. Bam. So all you got to do is press your thumb down on it. So Okay, and then to land it you do that. So we got to figure out how to work this here. So we're going to go ahead and press again. Bam, we figured out how to take off. I think if we press this button, your power button Nope. What is going on here? Um, let's try to rotate it. We should be able to rotate it. So, rotating it by this, that definitely works. There's a little spinner here that definitely works. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this off of my finger. I'm going to put it on here. We're going to try this. Bam. Okay. So now we're going forward. Now we're going back forward. Let's go ahead and lift our finger up. Now it's going up. All right. So now that we've done that, I've taken it off. It's sitting there. It's actually sitting really nicely. I'm going to show you it's sitting really nicely. It's sitting extremely nicely. And uh, what we're going to do is put this on our thumb and see if we can't get this going again. I was able to do it with my pointer finger. There's a little sensor on the bottom of this that has to come in contact with uh, the top of this thing here. Let's try again. Bam. So we're going forward. Going to lift it up. Going to go right. Going to come back. Come on. And go up, come back, come left. So there's definitely a learning curve to it. This isn't a natural way to fly a drone. Normally we would have a controller in our hands, but both hands would be on it, controlling the pitch, 
the rudder and whatnot this is going to take a little while to get used to but as you can see i'm able to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up higher simply by raising our finger above and i'm going to take my hand away from it if you take your thumb off of that sensor then it'll stay in the spot so if we wanted to rotate it i'm going to use my dominant hand my right hand all we got to do is press this there is a camera on this i'm not testing the camera right now we are just testing flyability and that roller works really well the roller on the back works extremely well to change your rotation and your direction so to bring this back down we are going to take our thumb over top of this keypad and we're going to make it closer to it and it's going to bring it down then if we go left it'll go left if we go right it'll go right lift our thumb up and it'll raise up again bring our thumb back towards ourselves it'll back pedal raise it up so this is definitely flyable you're not going to be sport flying this though there's absolutely no way I think anybody's sport flying this this is predominantly going to be for a camera drone what would be awesome is if this company will bring it back see and for me on the back pedal we're losing altitude because with my thumb to bring my thumb back it decreases in height so I don't know if I need to hold this up higher maybe deep deep ding allows you to know that you are now connected to it as far as the thumb control goes we'll go forward and forward we're gaining height because forward my thumb would raises backwards we're losing a little bit of elevation as you can see there and let's go ahead and rotate it go ahead and get a little look at it for the camera a little look at it for the camera it is a cool looking drone it's an extremely cool looking drone I like the way that it looks get all up in its grill so as far as flyability goes it is definitely challenging the camera is going to be where it's at um, there is an SD card in this I don't know hold it do ding and lift your thumb up it'll go up um, I don't know if I covered it in my unboxing or not but uh, there is an SD card that goes in basically where the battery bay is uh, there is an app that connects to this we're gonna go ahead and bring it down bring it down from what I've seen on reviews of this we're gonna turn it towards itself using this little roller um, from what I've seen on reviews of this the camera is pretty good unfortunately on the reviews that I've seen there is no image stabilization which is going to be a big factor for this there's my son and again I'm moving it backwards and we're losing altitude because again my thumb as I drop my thumb it goes down now if I go we'll go ahead and lift our thumb up and we'll change directions here using the roller the roller is great the roller works excellent we'll go ahead and go forward going forward I'm not losing altitude I can maintain height going forward but coming backwards that's really awkward to try to maintain your height coming backwards so I think we're just gonna go ahead and land this we will do I, I got three batteries with this um, and we haven't even killed this battery I think what we're going to do is just land this you can stay tuned for another video of this drone where we're going to test the camera we'll test the app and get you some footage from the app from the camera I love the little glow ring around it and again the back button is that yellow thing that is glowing there guys if you haven't subscribed please do so we are going to go ahead and BAM so take off and landing works really good that little spinner button to rotate it works really good and my, again my issue is going forward I can maintain altitude coming backwards do you see what happens here this is dropping closer to this pad here so I'm losing altitude coming backwards left and right not too bad they need to get a controller with this this is a neat idea it's a neat function 
um, but it is not ideal. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, do I like this? Not really. I, do, I really don't like this. Do I like the drone? Absolutely. I love the drone. Um, but as far as this controller setup, it's not ideal. And like I said, this is my non-dominant hand because it's slightly smaller than my other hand. And you can see this thing barely fits on my thumb. Uh, on my other hand, and you can see it's pinching it pretty bad. On my other hand, it hurt. Like, it actually hurt to get it on there. So, uh, we got some good things going as far as, like, structure, quality, and the way this thing looks, the way it's built. A+. plus. This controller idea, I give it a C. Like, in reality, I give it a C. Because, again, going forward and then pulling backwards, pulling backwards, for me anyway, I mean, I have my hand pretty high up on this, pulling backwards you're going to lose out to. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. This was the shift drone.